Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. In this short video, I am answering the burning question. How much solar do you really need for van life? I am going to talk about what I have and how it may differ for you. I'll first start out by explaining the different portable power stations that I have. So this one right here is the Jackery 240. So, um, easy peasy 240 watts. This was my very first portable power station and almost two and a half years later it is going strong. Additionally I have a Rock Pals 300 watt portable power station and um, this one I really just kind of use for backup but it's a great budget-friendly power station. And finally, I have my Bluetti EB70S, which is my biggest, best, and most powerful portable power station. It is 800 watts. So actively together between all three of my power stations, I probably have a good solid 1,200 watts of power. Hi, Bubba. So this is the Rock Pals 100 uh, portable solar panel. And I really like it because it has a bunch of different connectors on the back. So as you can see, I'm charging my Jackery with it. And it has different connections for different power stations. So that's really helpful. I really like the versatility of the Rock Pals solar panels. Similarly to my Blue Eddy power station, my Blue Eddy solar panel, which is the PV200, it's a 200 watt solar panel, is my biggest and baddest solar panel. I absolutely love this thing. And it does have the red and black connectors, so you can actually daisy chain Blue Eddy solar panels together if you want a ton of power. I haven't had to do that yet, but the PV200 charges up my Blue Eddy power station in like three, three and a half hours, something like that. So it's really great. It's extremely effective. And I use the Rock Pals 100 for my Jackery and my Rock Pals unit. I will say in all honesty that I've had two Jackery solar panels. They have both uh, crapped out on me. So I don't recommend buying Jackery solar panels. I would absolutely stick with Blue Eddy or Rock Pals. So how many watts of solar do you really need for van life? Well, it depends on what you're using it for. Again, I have about 1200 active watts of power and I only use my Rock Pals and my Blue Eddy solar panels, which is about 300 watts. So my 300 watts of solar is enough for my Blue Eddy and my Rock Pals and my Jackery power stations. Now, <clears throat> it depends on what you have to power. I charge very simple things my phone, my tablet, my Blue Eddy runs my fridge, which is a 20 liter Alpacool fridge. Um, and every now and then I need to charge my laptop, but I will often use my Rock Pals or my Blue Eddy to charge my laptop. And my laptop is small, so it doesn't require a lot of power. If you need to power bigger things, like let's say a hair dryer or a coffee maker or a microwave, you're probably going to need a little more power than what I have. So the more power you have, the more solar you need. But I'm great with my 300 watts of solar and my 1200 watts of power. Now I do have a Jackery solar panel in my rooftop box. It's, a, it's like the old 60 watt one. It got damaged, so at most it gives me like 35 watts of solar, which is kind of ineffective, but I have it as a backup like just in case of an emergency. So I do recommend portable solar panels because if you adhere them to your vehicle, they will be very ineffective unless you have them standing at a 45 degree angle. I have been using solar for two and a half years. I'm very well versed in it and I'm in the nomad world. So I've gotten to experience everybody else and what they do. Now you can get, um, nice solar panels like Renogy is a pretty good brand but they're more they have like a it's like a plexiglass type of material rather than um, the weather resistant material of the uh, the Blue Eddy and the Rock Pals. So you really have to do what's best for you 
what's best for your budget. Um, but again, I highly recommend the Rock Pals and the Bluetti. So how much solar do you need? Depends on how much power you have and what you have to power. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any more questions. I'm not a super expert on solar, but um, obviously mine has been effective and efficient for me over the last two and a half years. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.